Hi there, I'm Buddha and you're watching Dr. Guitar, a show for all you guitarists out there. In today's episode, I'm bringing you my brand new Bass 6 by Squire. There's no Bass 6 made by Fender, so I got myself a Squire 6, which is basically the bass that all the Beatles used when Paul McCartney was not playing bass. So when he was playing either guitar or piano. This is what George Harrison and John Lennon used to play bass on a lot of songs like Hey Jude or Let It Be, whatever. But first of all, let me thank my dear patrons for supporting the show. And you know, if you want to become a patron yourself, go to the link super easy you'll be getting early access to episodes a free video lesson every week and a free backing track every month so you can practice you can also support us through the tip jar on paypal and if you're interested in guitar lessons with me just send me an email or a direct message via instagram or facebook and we'll deal with it from there let's go to the basics <laughs> So what is this bass six? I didn't even took the speaker off the the sticker off. What is the bass six? Basically, it's kind of a Jaguar vibe with six strings, but it's tuned like a bass. So the low E is a low E on a bass. So it's exactly the same tuning as a guitar, one octave down. So it's not a baritone. A baritone guitar usually goes to B. It's not as low as a bass. So this will work as a bass, definitely. And I'm plugging in to my Carlsboro Stingray, which is a hybrid amp, so it can have guitar tone and bass tone, because it has a bass channel and a guitar channel. So I have a lot of low end from the 4x12 speaker cabinet, my Fender 4x12 speaker cabinet. And I can also have distortion, reverb and tremolo. That's what you've heard me play in the intro. This can actually sound like a proper bass. It sounds like a bass. It's easier to play it with a pick and it's very percussive. It has three pickups, four switches. One switch per pickup, so neck, here, here's the neck, here's the middle. Let me play you something, neck. Middle. And bridge. So you can combine it as in a strat. If I use middle and bridge, you have these two pickups combined. Or you can combine neck and middle. Or you can combine neck and bridge. Or you can have them all three together. What is the third switch here? This is a strangler. Oh, oh, and by the way, up is on, down is off. This is a strangler, which means it cuts low end. So here it, neck pickup. You 
If I strangle it, there's a great feature. The tone control works the opposite way as a as a normal tone control in, when the struggle is on. Not struggle, this strangle. So the more you cut it, the more low end you cut. This is fully open. Cutting a little. A little more. More, even more. So what this means is that it can have the same octave as a bass, but with way less uh, low end. And if I plug it into the guitar sp the channel here, which has less low end, of course, it's even clearer. And if I want to even Bright, brighter, bitier tone, I go to the bridge pickup. This is what they used when it came up. They used this as a tic-tac bass, which means they were doubling bass lines, but with no bass, because the bass was still there, but they were making it poke a little better in the mix with a pick. Like Motown. If we give it a little reverb, so you get the idea. But this is also great to use in a context of a spaghetti western. This is almost an out of phase thing. And this is basically it, but you can use it with overdrive too. So this is a super versatile instrument because it can be a bass and I love it as a bass and that's one of the reasons I bought it. I bought it because I like the bass tone of it. Uh, on the neck pickup it's really great. If it's too bassy we can either plug to the bright channel so it's a great pick bass it's great to have in the studio for guitar players to record bass to double bass tracks for me to overdub bass it has a very different sound from a jazz bass or from a precision. So it's a great, great tool to add to my arsenal. And that's it. 
I'm thinking about changing the strings to flat bond, but I'm loving the strings while I'm playing it. It's fully stuck. So, what do you think? Should I change for flat bound strings? I think it would give it a little more uh, something, a little more plunk, a little more mojo. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching the show. You know, if you want to become a patron and help the channel, go to the link. It's super simple. You'll be getting early access to episodes of a free video lesson every week and a free backing track every month. You can also support us by contributing to the tip chart on PayPal. You'll be supporting the channel and supporting what I'm doing here, you know, gear acquisition and making a living out of it. I thank you a lot. If you're interested in guitar lessons or vocal lessons with me, just send me an email or a direct message via Instagram or Facebook and we'll deal with it from there. But please leave your comments saying what you think about the basics and should I change, should I do an episode on changing the strings to flat bound strings. Let me know. Thank you so much. We'll see each other next week. Bye bye. Yeah.